I'm Rachel Whitaker, sports writer at the Lake Charles American Press, coming to you with the second installment of our weekly prep football roundup. Tropical Storm Lee has forced us indoors today, so I'm coming to you from the newsroom here at the American Press. Well, the first week of the regular season is now in the books, and some of the highlights were the debut of 11 new coaches and some come-from-behind wins. The game I covered on Friday was St. Louis at Sam Houston. Sam Houston moved up to Class 5A this season, so this wasn't a district match this year, but the emotions were just as high. Sam Houston jumped out to a 14-0 lead behind two rushing touchdowns from quarterback Cliff Reed. St. Louis didn't record a first down in the first half. Although Sam Houston again had troubles with ball control, they fumbled four times throughout the game. But in the first half, St. Louis could not capitalize on any of the Broncos' mistakes. One fumble occurred deep in, deep in their own territory, and St. Louis recovered on the, on the Broncos' six-yard line, but they couldn't punch it in because of Sam Houston's defense. But the second half was a different story. St. Louis quarterback John Paul Crawford earned, earned the start Friday night, and he directed both of St. Louis's touchdown drives in the second half to put the Saints on top for good. And running back Caleb Bilodeau hustled down the field 26 yards for the game-winning touchdown to put St. Louis ahead 18-14. And Sam Houston coach Vaughn Eggleston told me after the game that it was penalties and turnovers that cost the Broncos the game. And Barb put a thrashing on LaGrange 61-31 to Friday night in head coach Mike Cotrera's regular season debut. LaGrange scored the first touchdown of the night, but it was all Barb from there, as Trey Quinn had four rushing touchdowns and Courtney Galantine added another. Both running backs eclipsed the century mark. And although the Bucks will undoubtedly miss senior running back Trey Goodley, who tore his ACL on the first play of, the, of Barb's Jamboree last week. Galantine and Quinn combined for 244 yards in Barb's victory. In other action on Friday, Washington Marion running back O'Shea Jackson came alive in his regular season debut, rushing for 133 yards and a touchdown. The Indians also scored three times through the air with new quarterback Dylan Gibson, and Barb transfer linebacker Melvin Jones ran back an interception for a touchdown to give the Indians a 46-6 win against Peabody. And Vinton came from behind to beat Iota 12-6 in a Thursday night game in Vinton head coach Tarius Davis' regular season debut against another new coach from Iota, Neil Leger. Running back DJ Reed tallied 156 rushing yards and recovered a fumble and ran 61 yards for the game-winning touchdown to propel Vinton to a season-opening victory. And now, here's a look at some other scores from around the area. Be sure to check AmericanPress.com every Monday for a new installment of our weekly Prep Football Roundup series. And also pick up an American Press print edition daily for scores, analysis, and features from prep football, college, and professional sports.